Hey guys, my name's Sam and welcome to PrepMedic. This week's video is a complete overview and review of the Soar Rescue Med Mags. All right guys, so Soar Rescue is a super reputable company out on the East Coast. And SOAR stands for Special Operations Aid and Rescue. They originated a little while back as a training company. They do a lot of classes for tactical medical providers and then uh, flight paramedics, things like that, to prep you for those tests and those scenarios. Uh, so they really started in that training realm and they have pretty recently branched into making their own gear that really complements what they teach. So I'm really excited today because we are reviewing their med mags. Now, a med mag is a super compact uh, IFAC, for lack of a better word, that covers a wide range of first aid and emergency situations, depending on what your specific needs are. Now, what makes these really unique is their form factor, first and foremost. So these are made to be almost identical in form factor to your standard AR magazines. Now, granted, there's some plastic up here you can fold down, gets it a little bit closer to the shape. And they are not exact, but they're pretty close. And that serves a couple really great purposes. Number one is it is really easy to find a magazine carrier for a plate carrier, a belt, something like that. Everybody makes one and these will fit almost every single one. So it's really easy to find something to throw this in. If that's all you have laying the around the house, you can throw this in that and you're good to go. The other thing is, is that this is very compact in and of itself. So these kits can be carried in any number of ways. They don't even necessarily need to stay in this form factor. If you just want everything to treat advanced airway or respiratory, you can buy one of these, open it up, and throw it in whatever, of whatever kit you want. One thing that's super cool about these is that they're all relatively low price compared to a lot of other individual first aid kits and emergency medical supplies you can buy on the market because you are not paying for any nylon. There is no case, there is no engineering, there's no anything other than a basically a heavy duty shrink wrap, plastic wrap on this thing. In general, these are super cheap. The most expensive one being the advanced area, which has a ton of really advanced stuff in it. And that is only $65. So I think they're a really great economical option for people looking for something with really broad capabilities that won't completely destroy the bank. So I'm gonna go through each of these individually. Uh, I'm gonna leave time codes down below. If there's one you're really curious about and you wanna know the contents, you can skip to that point in the video. Just in general though, we've got the hybrid IFAC here, which is kind of your, uh, it's your first line med mag, and it's really meant to kind of encompass what you guys all know as an IFAC. It's got all the general supplies in it. You've got your airway respiratory, you've got an advanced airway respiratory, which I'm really excited to show you guys what's in here. You've got your bleeding, your bleeding with hemostatics, and then you've got a triage med mag, which is also very unique. So without further ado, let's dive into these a little bit more in depth. All right, so the first med mag we're gonna talk about is the hybrid IFAC. This is your first line uh, IFAC, and this is generally what most people would consider a true individual first aid kit. It has kind of all the standard things in it. I do apologize for the glare. I really don't know how to light my scenes so that it's not uh, making this glare on the camera there. Uh, but we're gonna go through this piece by piece. So like I said, this is kind of your general IFAC. In here, you're gonna find the major things for bleeding control. So first and foremost, you have a piece of packing gauze. Now this is just NAR compressed gauze. Uh, as of now, their hybrid IFAC does not come with hemostatic agents. Their bleeding control one has an option for hemostatics, but this one doesn't have it. This is great for packing though. And really what's making a difference in these patients is uh, packing the wound with pressure and the hemostatics is a nice touch, but not necessary in a lot of situations. The second item on this is going to be your NAR mini responder four inch uh, ETD, so your emergency trauma dressing. This is just a pressure wrap. After you pack wound, you can wrap it in, or if somebody has more of a minor injury, uh, they can uh, wrap that around their arm, head, whatever it might be to help stem that bleeding. It has some airway devices in it. So you've got your standard 28 French NPA, which is a nasal pharyngeal airway. It's used to open the airway, not secure an airway, but you open an airway with this, allow somebody to breathe, and it comes with some surgical lubricant. And then last but not least, it comes with the hyphen twin pack uh, vented chest seals. And these right here are my favorite chest seals on the market. 
uh, just because they are so compact, but are very, very effective. All right, so starting our March algorithm, we have our bleeding control med mags. So we have two different versions here. We've got one with hemostatic dressings in it and one without. So this one's got your quick clot. This one just has a roll of packing gauze. Uh, they did that because some places do not allow you to use hemostatics. It's not in everybody's scope of practice, depending on where you are in the country. So it does give you the option depending on what you want and uh, what your scope of practice dictates. But in general, these are going to have the exact same contents. So starting off, like we just talked about, the one with hemostatics has your quick clot dressing. Uh, this just has a mineral on it to help aid the clotting process. We're not really using powders or anything like that because we found that it's the pressure that's actually making the difference and that the quick clot is just helping that process along to stop that bleeding. It is the gold standard though. If you get the one without the hemostatics, it just has the normal uh, NAR Z-fold gauze in it that you can pack into wound and it will work pretty well. Next to that, we've got our NAR Mini Responder 4-inch ETD. We just talked about this in the hybrid IFAC, but essentially this is just your pressure wrap. You can wrap it over this once you pack it in to hold that pressure for a longer period of time, which will make it more effective. You can use this to wrap a head wound, an arm wound that's not life-threatening, any number of things. So a really good thing to have. We have a survival wrap. Now, the one that comes in here is not this exact uh, survival wrap. I think it's just a little bit smaller and it's silver, but it's by North American Rescue. Uh, one of the aspects of clotting is going to be thermal regulation. So we need to make sure that we are keeping people warm, especially when they're hemorrhaging, hypothermia kills and trauma. And then they both come with a frog tape. So this is flat folded surgical tape. You'll recognize this because this actually comes in the Blue Force gear uh, trauma kit nows, uh, which are really good kits as well. But these ones here, uh, it's just a lot of surgical tape. You can use this uh, for many things, holding a bandage together as an improvised uh, wrap. It really has a ton of uses. So great thing to have in this kit. And then last but not least, you have a pair of talon gloves, uh, size large, I believe in both of these. Now you're gonna notice a very obvious lack here. These do not come with a tourniquet in it. And that's for a couple different reasons I'm guessing, is one, it would take up a lot of space and ruin the form factor. Two, to get to a tourniquet, that's something you need right now. While this is not hard to tear open on the side and get what you need out of it, it's far better to have a tourniquet very easily accessible on your persons and then for everything else you can get into this kit here. Plus there's a lot of preference that comes with tourniquets and instead of making 18 million versions of these with every kind of TCCC approved tourniquet, you can kind of choose what you want to use in that realm. So there are no tourniquets in here, just be aware you'll have to pack that somewhere else on your persons. That is an essential piece of bleeding control kit that you need to carry on you. All right, next up on the March algorithm, we have airway and respirations. So these are airway and respiratory put together in one kit, and we have a basic and an advanced kit. I am a super big fan of this. We're gonna go through the airway one uh, really quickly. And then because I don't actually have everything that comes in this kit, we're gonna open this up uh, right here and I'm gonna go through the contents one by one. So in the airway respiratory kit, you've got a couple really cool pieces of kit in a very small form factor. And generally when you see an advanced airway kit online, the things that come in that kit are gonna be what's here. This is very super advanced. So um, there is quite a big difference between these and I think these are kind of the most unique med mags that SOARS put out. So in your normal airway respiratory kit, you have two 28 French NPAs. So this comes in the hybrid as well and these are just to open an airway. 28 French is kind of the standard adult size. They'll fit most of your patients. So if you're short on space and you can't carry an entire up and down size of these, 28 French is what you should be sticking with. It has your twin hyphen chest seals. So these are my favorite chest seals, uh, like I just said. Comes with two of them for entrance and exit wound um, and very easy to apply and they do have a vent on them that is very effective. It comes with two ARS needles. So these are decompression needles for your uh, tension pneumothoraces. It's always a good idea to have more than one because one, one might not be effective. You might have bilateral pneumos and you might have to do another one. So always good to have two of those in this kit. And then last but not least, it has a pair of gloves in there. So this is really what's generally in an airway respiration kit uh, for your uh, 
combat medics and things like that, this is the basics that you need because this is what's gonna help you until you can get them to a bigger kit and do more advanced airway procedures. Now, coming over to the advanced airway kit, I'm gonna get rid of these over here. This is a very unique kit and I am super excited about this. Essentially, this kit has everything the basic airway respiratory kit has, except this actually carries all the tools you need to perform a surgical cricothyrotomy on a patient. And once again, this one's probably the biggest med mag they make, uh, but this fits in almost anything that would uh, carry a magazine. So really cool use of space. We're gonna open this up, and on all of these kits, you've got these little pull tabs on the side. You just pull that open, and all the contents will come right out the top Pretty easy to do. All right, so in here, we've got the list of everything that comes in it, and each one has this list on it, so it's good if you just want a quick reference of what's in it. It'll also show what expiration dates there are when you need to replace the kit. And like I said, you've got everything that the other kit has. This one does not come with two NPAs. This just has a single. 28 French MPA with a thing of surgical lube on the side, which is just fine. It also comes with, get this out of the way. It also comes with your hyphen chest seal, your twin pack. You've got an ARS needle for your needle decompressions of the chest. And then over here, this is all the stuff you need for a surgical cricothyrotomy, and that's what makes this kit so unique. So we have the first step, we've got a chloroprep, chloroprep swab stick uh, to sterilize the area if you remember to do that. You also have a alcohol prep pad here as well. Chloroprep's kind of the standard, you can use the alcohol preps. You have a four by four piece of gauze, which is super important because this can get kind of bloody and it's good to be able to dab away the blood so you can see your landmarks. And then down here you have a North American Rescue a tracheostomy kit. So this comes with a bougie, which you've seen bougies on the channel before. They're an introducer. It's how I was trained to do a surgical cricothyrotomy. Works super well. And this one's just super short because you don't need a long one for a cricothyrotomy. And it also has the uh, actual crike tube right on this. So it's a little bit smaller, so you're not right main stemming the patient. You don't have a ton coming off. And then this has two wings on either side to help secure it to the patient so it doesn't get pulled out by an overexcited firefighter or something like that. You've got a 10 mil syringe to actually inflate the balloon on this Krite kit. And then we have a pair of nitrile gloves for your protection and a Krike hook or a tray hook. So this is used once you make your incision, you can pull down on this and it keeps, saves your spot essentially. Because sometimes when you're doing a surgical crike, as you cut, the hole you made through the skin and the hole you made through the cricothyroid membrane actually will start to oscillate and you'll lose one of those uh, orifices to insert the tube and it can fail, especially with a lot of blood and your adrenaline going. There is nobody in the world that's done a, enough of these that they don't panic just a little bit when they get in this situation. So it's good to have something obvious. And then of course, the most important part of a surgical crike is going to be your scalpel. So this is a pen blade. It's a safety scalpel, essentially. Um, I've never actually used this brand, but the blade retracts in, so you're not gonna cut yourself or others once you're done with it. Uh, and it's got kind of a cool blue color to it. So this is one of my favorite uh, kits. I'm actually probably going to buy one because uh, this is something that I actually want to keep on another setup that I'm making. And I think this is just a really, really cool setup here. They have everything you need for airway respirations in kind of that tactical environment. All right, last but not least, and one of the other kind of unique offerings, I think, in terms of what's coming in kits is going to be their triage med mag. Now, I'll be completely honest, um, I don't do a ton. We carry the cards on our trucks, but I have never actually seen like a triage kit put together like this. So once again, I don't have all the supplies for this, so we are gonna open this one up. And it opens the exact same as the advanced airway. Take that out, everything kind of falls out. You've got your card here. 
Now this one has everything that's in the kit, but then it also has your start triage uh, pathway that you're supposed to follow. So if you haven't done this, I, I might actually do a video on triage and how to do it and kind of what it means uh, for you guys in the future, but it is a very step-by-step -step process and everybody that goes into EMS law enforcement fire gets a triage lecture at some point in time. It's kind of one of those skills that everybody learns. In here, we've got a couple different things. So we have your main start triage cards, which these ones are the ones that actually let you categorize the patient. So they have on the front, you've got a bunch of different colors and I'll see if I can open one of these up for you. In here, you've got red, which is your immediate transport, your two and your yellow, which is your delayed transport. And then you have your green, which is your walking wounded. And then these do not actually have a black on them. Uh, the black tag for the dead one, that's pretty unmistakable. So uh, in triage situations, we're not doing a lot of resuscitations because they take a lot of personnel and a lot of resources. So they're not something that's done uh, routinely, which is why you have those cards. Now these are in these cases, you put whatever you want face up, and then you can put this around the patient's neck or their wrist, whatever it might be. Uh, you can even duct tape it to them somewhere that other uh, providers can see it, and then they're triaged. So first and foremost, it comes with all of these tags, which are a super great thing to have. And last but not least, you have kind of these uh, glow sticks, and you have all the main colors you were dealing with before. You've got your red, yellow, that's definitely orange, green, and then white, which uh, is generally gonna be your black. Now these can be used to mark individually ca individual casualties, but more often than not, these are probably gonna be used to mark uh, as triage zones. So if you have like the red area established for treatment and re-triage, you can throw this over there, throw this on a flagpole, mark where it is. Um, or you can you know, wave the green one in the air and say, hey, anybody that can walk, come to me. Uh, really the uses for these are gonna be kind of varied. Like I said, I never actually done triage with the tags in the field, had a couple mass casualties, but it's kind of cool that you have this protected uh, kit right here and it all comes in one. It's not going to degrade in the back of the ambulance because I think right now we have these same cards and these are just kind of floating around. Now the one other thing in this kit is a mini Sharpie. I believe it rolled off the table uh, when I opened this kit and I don't really have the time to find it. So it does come with a mini Sharpie that you can fill out these cards. One thing I didn't mention is the back of these cards, you actually have the patient identifiers. I'm willing to bet these are not used very often in the field, uh, but if you need to, you can write name, address, city, zip, uh, main complaints, everything like that, and then do some check marks here. Uh, just for your patient tracking makes things a little bit easier. So that's a quick overview of the med mags. Like I said before, these are insanely versatile kits and I think they have a lot of different uses, whether you wanna use these as a restock for a current kit or carry them as is. One thing I forgot to mention is this thing up here, uh, this is just to hang it like on a hook in a store or something like that. You can just cut this off, no problem. And you won't have that hanging off, uh, looking ugly or taking up space. So these are a great product. I would highly recommend them. Uh, they've been kind enough to hook me up with a affiliate link. So if you're looking at picking these up, I've left a link down below. It'll give you a couple percents off uh, and help support the channel. I have some of my other people down there, Core Performance, uh, Vertex for 25% off. I'll just leave a list of everything I have discounts for if you guys are interested in picking something up. If you don't wanna use the affiliate link, no problem. They're just down there if you wanna use them. So the last thing I'll leave you with is, if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram. I post kind of more just fun pictures, less educational content on there of my day-to-day -day life and operations, things like that. So with all that being said, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I will see you next week. Yeah.